I'm so sick of this, dude. People are going freaking bananas. Everything is sold out everywhere. I actually you know, found this one little site that, not sure it's completely legal, but they had everything I need. I got all the essentials. 12 gauge, 5.56, 9 millimeter, and they even had 22 long rifle. I probably bought a little more than I needed. Come to Papa. Ammo day, ammo day, ammo day, ammo day. What is this? They also gave me a sticker! Nice! Bro, I am so stocked up right now. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and I am glad that you are here. Before we get started, if you'd like to get yourself some Demolition Ranch hats or shirts, we have them all. This is actually this month's subscription shirt. This is a bulletproof blanket. That is what it is marketed and sold as. It is level 3A. It is Kevlar inside here. Police officers usually have like 2A or 3A level vests and then military will have those or higher up to like four level four vests which will stop some huge rounds. But a level 3A vest will stop a 44 Magnum. Level 2A is a little bit less strong. We have a level 3A blanket. So this thing should stop up to a 44 Magnum. 3A warranty, void if shot with a 50 BMG. When someone with a bulletproof vest gets hit with a bullet, it stops the bullet, but they still get hit really hard. In the movies, they get knocked out for like a couple minutes. It's probably not real life, but it definitely punches you really hard, can break ribs, can still break the skin, definitely will leave a big bruise. So I've always kind of wondered, how bad does it actually hurt to get hit with a bullet while wearing a bulletproof vest. So today, I bought this blanket and we are going to be putting things that are soft underneath it and shooting it with rounds and then evaluating what happened to see how much power is transferred when the bullet doesn't actually go through. The bullet will just punch and that's it. First up, we have a regular dinner plate right there. I'm gonna be hitting it right here. And I think we're gonna start where we normally do, which is 22 long rifle. Now, the question is, do you think a 22 long rifle hitting that will have enough force to break the plate? I think it will. I think it's gonna shatter it. I think I was right. And it is right there, still stuck in there. Did not go through, but punched it enough to break that plate. Everyone knows watermelons are exactly like a human body. So we're gonna actually see what a 22 long rifle will do to this. I'm gonna hit it right there. Uh, it's, um, I bet you it doesn't crack it. I bet it makes a little squishy spot. There's our entry hole and the bullet is right there. I just moved it. The bullet's right there. Did not go very far at all. Dang, check that out. Just like I said. Little squishy spot. Bloop, 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 bloop. Nine millimeter is an actual, real caliber. So we are going to go ahead and fire the nine straight into the watermelon. I think it's going to crack the skin on the watermelon. We'll find out together. There's our hit right there. Oh, dang. <laughs> Splat. Okay. So as you can see, all weakened here. Um, did not go through. It's all still intact on the backside, but it punched hard. You would have a solid, solid bruise from a nine millimeter, even with this thick level 3A Kevlar. Next up is one of my favorite guns, and it's a caliber that not many people know about. This is the Automag 3, chambered in 30 carbine. So, for instance, Here's the difference between a 9mm and a 30 carbine. So you can see the 9mm is short and squatty, and the bullet is wider diameter than the 30 carbine. So 30 carbine has more powder behind it, and it's a smaller diameter, smaller bullet, so it's going to be going a lot faster. So this thing has a ton of energy, as you will see, um, with the big fireball that comes out of it. And it's super fun to shoot because it's crazy loud, but I don't think it'll go through level 3A armor. 
and we have our watermelon underneath to see if it doesn't go through what kind of damage it transfers to the watermelon. <laughs> Every time I shoot this gun, I'm surprised by how big that fireball is. How do we do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he went through. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it did it? Oh, it didn't. No. It just, so that's the actual Kevlar underneath. It hit so hard it ripped the back of this open, but the Kevlar is still intact. Oh yeah, I can feel a bullet right there. It's super hard. That is our 30 carbine bullet. It punched the crud out of this dude who got hit by it. That is about as hard as you could get hit probably before it would rip through this because it was so close. Since I believe in recycling, I just rolled this watermelon over because the other side of it is good but not for long. <laughs> 12 gauge shotgun. This is a one ounce slug that I just loaded in here. And the deal with the shotgun, not much penetrating power, but so much power overall. This thing, I think could still kill you if you got hit, even wearing a 3A because it hits so hard. <laughs> it's not looking good guys. Oh, did it go through? Oh, it went through. What? Very surprised that that went through. Three should stop it. Dude. Yeah, okay. Uh, can't even say that was a weak spot. I mean, that was the weakest spot right there with 30 carbine hit. That one ounce slug went right through. We've shot a lot of body armor, 3A body armor, and I don't think any Kevlar's ever let a shotgun slug through, which makes me wonder if this is actually level 3A. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, but here's what uh, happens when a 12 year shotgun just goes into you. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> we are gonna tone it down a little bit. We're gonna go back down. We're gonna hit it with a 44 mag and see if it stops. I got my favorite drink, Big Red. I hope it doesn't hit it because I actually really, I'm parched and I'd like to finish that off. We are shooting at a fresh part of the blanket. So if this thing lets a 44 mag through, we will know it is not what it says it is. Um, because it doesn't actually say it will stop a shotgun slug. I just thought it would. This is a 44 mag. Please save my big red. I bet it's still gonna punch it and break it even if it doesn't go through though. Dang it. Smoke that big red. Forty-four mag hole. Whoa! It went right through. We got conned, boys. We got conned. This says it is level three A. It is not. Dang! Let a forty-four mag straight through and kill my big red, my best friend. I pride myself in being able to adapt and change to the scenario. So we're going back down to weaker rounds and weaker targets. Check this out. Got a fresh batch of chicken eggs. Oops. Uh, nine millimeter. It's not good when you see pieces of foam from the chicken egg carton. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, the first one hit down here, I think, and then the second one just totally smashed into it. Mm. It would just... Uh, who wants an omelet? Uh, yeah, we're gonna shoot some shaving cream. This video is disgusting. The bad part about that blanket is it's like a three foot by four foot ish uh, Kevlar blanket, apparently 3A. We paid like $400 for it. I was like, well, you know what? I want it for the video. Let's do it like 400 bucks. And it does not do what it was supposed to do. Very interesting, and it's US made. It's not like we bought some crazy thing from some weird country. It is made in the USA. All right, let's see if this thing will bust shaving cream with our nine millimeter. I'm gonna go with uh, yes. Wow. So I had two back there. We only hit one, but we've never actually busted them like this. Usually we bust them by throwing a bullet through them. This one just, maybe a bullet did go through. Oh, I think it could have. 
How am I gonna find out? It's the most disgusting video I've ever done. I'm regretting my life choices today. I could have, I could have been testing high points. You ever like mixed your eggs with your shaving cream just to see what happens? It just keeps going until it doesn't. Oh no, we hit the big red. Oh man, do I, do I save this? It's got shaving cream all over it. Look at this smoke, that's so cool. Oh, so it's coming out of all the holes from the birdshot. So the birdshot riddled this thing with holes. Whoa, look at that. Boom. Oh, uh, we got an actual fire going on in there. We didn't really like the way that video was turning out with that stupid blanket. So I decided to throw these in there as well. These were given to us by a different company. I bought the other one. These were actually given to us. We got them at SHOT Show. Um, they're bulletproof koozies. You ever been in a saloon and an outlaw walks in, he starts talking mad trash about your old lady and you're like, hey, watch yourself, mister. This is your last warning. And he keeps going and you get in a gunfight and before you finish him off, he shoots your beer. It's the worst! So, this company came up with a delightful plan to make a bulletproof koozie. So, we got our buddy over here. He's gonna hold this one. He really does not want his beer busting from the Outlaw's stray bullet. So, he's got a bulletproof koozie. We're gonna try to bust his beer. Testing the bulletproof 2A koozie. Commencing, test one. Not good, not good. Now the real question is, did it explode from pressure, just pushing on it, or did a bullet go through? Where is it? Oh, I found it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, nope, that's the outside. It did stop it. So, did not go through. The bullet's not in there, but it, there's no hole. And uh, didn't hit the other side, obviously. So, a freaking koozie works better than that $400 blanket we bought over there. Bartender felt bad about this guy, so got him another beer. We're gonna try to hook it back up with this tape, even though it's kinda wet because it's raining out here. What's crazy about this is this is obviously a joke. Like, no one actually wants bulletproof koozies. This company makes real armor. They just made a koozie to be fun. And the bulletproof koozie stopped the bullet when our $400 blanket didn't. It's a mess. What a mess. Why am I? What am I doing with my life here? Oh, jeez. Oh, his arm. Thanks for watching Nibbles Ranch. See you next time. You guys might have thought my auto mag in 30 carbine was pretty powerful, right? No, it's just cute. Do you know what 2A armor is not rated for? 50 AE. We have the auto mag 5 chambered in 50 AE. I thought since we brought the 30 carbine out, let's bring the big boy out. All right, uh, this should go through both sides. At least one, but probably both. Firing. Jeez. It just dusted it. <laughs> Guys, this is, this is not good. It was, it was right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Here's a piece of it. There's a piece of it. Here's a, oh wow. Well, maybe it didn't rip through. It looks like it was just pushing it. That's where that bullet hit right there. That's why I pulled it so far back too. That bullet was flying with these things all over it, just dropping one at a time as it went further and further back. Here's our can. Yeah, that hurt. And here it is. No bullet in it. I, I actually, that did a lot better than I thought. This is real Kevlar, turns out. This company, uses real Kevlar and not straw in their bulletproof stuff. <sighs> Clean this range up. Hey, we got a link in the description to all of our merchandise. Thanks for watching the Village I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog?
Bobby! I'm a doctor. Ish.